What's going on guys, Evolution here and welcome to Feed the Beast. So guys, this is where our journey begins I guess, we're over here on our beach, we've got funky purple trees, we've got big trees, really big trees, pink trees, and of course we've got some sheep and what looks like to be horses as well. So we've got a pretty awesome spawn area here, I literally just spawned in 10 seconds ago and boom, hit that record button. So this is where our journey begins after all and as every good Minecraft series should start today we're going to be just building a house and gathering them good old resources so yes we will be battering trees down with our fists and hammering pigs with our fists also but you know that's, that's the fun part and hopefully in uh, the next episode maybe we can start getting into some of the mods that Feed the Beast has to offer and we're playing on uh, the Die Wolf 20 mod pack today. We've got uh, 1.6.4 installed, which is currently the latest version. Which is good, because it's got lots of fun stuff in that. Alright, we've got some dirt. We should probably get some logs. I don't really want to knock down the mystical trees. Let's, let's just collect some oak and birch, you know that. Just the ordinary, plain stuff. But to give you guys some what of a brief overview... Uh, Feed the Beast is basically, or the certain one I'm playing, which is Die Wolf 20, it's just basically a mod pack. So it's Minecraft modded, uh, and it's got hundreds of mods installed just to make the game, I don't know, more interesting? Kind of more stuff to do. So, for instance, this, they've, uh, in Die Wolf, they focus a lot on kind of machinery and uh, factories quite a bit. Uh, but alongside that you've also got like your mist craft and your thorn craft so there's a lot of magical stuff that you can get into oh um, there's just so many mods within it I can't explain it even I don't know half of them and I think I, 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 I thought I knew a lot so it really goes to show how much there is to do and also when it comes with all this stuff to do it comes with a lot of learning and uh, whilst we're on that topic so you know I've had a lot of experience on Feed the Beast I've previously done mini series on it before um, but it's been a while and obviously I've forgotten the majority of the knowledge I knew which wasn't much but it was it was enough so you guys are gonna need to help me out along my journey uh, on how we're gonna progress I know as I said I've got a brief amount of knowledge in some bits and bobs but other stuff is going to be completely new to me. So if you've got any, uh, if you've got any tips and tricks, or you want to chuck a comment, obviously be sure to let me know in the comment section, and that would be very nice. So I don't want to scare any of you off. I'm not the biggest noob to Minecraft, but I'm also not the most advanced player. So I just thought I'd make you guys aware of that. But I will try to make this game and experience as fun as I can for you guys, as it is for me. And we've got plenty of logs now, so I should probably actually craft some sort of tool instead of torturing you lot by using my fists on them all. Alright, there we go. We've got our crafting table. We'll plot this nicely by our little coast we got going on here. And we're going to want some sticks. And let's start with just making a wooden pickaxe. We can go uh, get some cobble real quick and make some cobble tools. I mean, it's only cobble tools, but it's somewhat better than having just wood tools, isn't it? And it's good to see we've got some rubber trees by our spawn as well. Although, that's completely different now. But as I said, we, we won't get into that too much. Let's just kind of enjoy Minecraft as it is for now. Get a nice little house built. Uh, get some resources, get some logs, get some ores. We need to go mining at some point as well. Which I look forward to because there are so many ores packed in the uh, packed in the caves down there. It's, it's unreal. So that should be a nice little adventure for us. Like I can already see some coal and some iron, which is pretty nice. But we're also going to want a lot of copper and a lot of tin. Well, everything's got a use in this game, to be honest. So we're going to need a lot of everything. But let's look at kind of the smaller side of things. So today, our objective is... Alright, objective numero uno is to survive, of course. Uh, which sounds simple, but when you've got angry zombies and all sorts of different mobs, it seems to get somewhat harder. And our second objective, objective numero dos, is to build a nice little shelter for ourselves. Somewhere we can call home for the night and shack up at. And yes, that's right, shack up at. That is what I said indeed. So, we got some cobble now, let's go and craft ourselves some some tools, toolios. There's our pickaxe, lovely. 
and we're getting achievements already uh, what else will we need? We'll definitely want a sword and of course let's not forget our axe there we go let's get rid of all this boom I think I've covered everything there, that should be enough for us let's pick up our workstation we've got here oh, I really like the spawn though, let's just have a little look around so we got I'm not too sure what these pink trees are for uh, they're from the nature mod not sure, I think they're something to do with like the magical side of Feed the Beast and with this badass tree here I don't know the purpose of this but I'm sure it, it well it looks pretty damn cool either way so I'm, I'm quite happy to have that around here we got our beach which is quite nice, we've kind of got some sandy bits which is cool and of course we've got our rubber trees, we've got some rubber trees here and we've also got the other type of rubber trees which are from the other uh, a different mod oh we've got a skeleton there, come on, All right claim our first murder on this game boom achievement monster hunting monster hunter we're getting them kills now and we've got the other type of rubber tree just over here which requires the tree tap but yeah we got a nice spawn and uh we should probably read the the introduction book we got with the game so let's have a quick flick through that whilst we're here i'm pretty sure it just goes over tinker's construct a lot yeah so talking about the patterns uh all berry bushes they're cool things uh, what else we got? A punji stick. A few trap or blockades may help with your early survival experience. Well, we should definitely make one of them bad boys then. And uh, barricades, more Tinker's Construct stuff. Yeah, it's pretty much just Tinker's Construct stuff. So we're gonna definitely want to hold on to this bad boy because Tinker's Construct is a pretty cool mod. And if you don't know what it is, it's all to do with basically crafting your own tools and weapons. Uh, and seriously, they're really awesome. Uh, you can add kind of features where your weapon can obviously repair itself or smell objects. It's really cool. Um, I don't want to really go over it too much and sound too much like a nerd in the first episode. I do want viewers to come view the second episode when I upload that at some point. So as I said, I won't mind blow you guys too much, but we will look into it definitely at some point. But as I said, for today our two objectives are just to get some resources and a nice little house. And of course, whilst doing that, surviving. I think for tonight, a wooden shack would do nicely. I mean, we're not, we're not going to be living any luxury tonight, that's for sure. We got a, a black brew bush here. The good thing is, we got loads of oak wood trees around here, and I love oak wood. Oak wood's my favourite type of wood. Trying to get enough wall so we can make a bed for ourselves as well at some point. Set our spawn point. Uh, Alright, I think we should have enough. It's three, isn't it? I'm sure it is. That'll do. Alright, let's collect some more wood. As boring as it is, is, we're going to need it. I mean, there's nothing going to be worse than having a half unfinished house in the middle of the night and realising we're going to have to run out into the forest and uh, tackle some monsters to collect some more wood, you know? So, you know, rather safe than sorry. So I'm kind of thinking we should build by this massive tree. And the reason behind this, it, there's there's a good reason. Wait for it. So if we get lost, which is commonly, it commonly happens when I play Minecraft. What is that? Ah, of course, this game's got the hat mod in, which basically puts little, like, hats and stuff as such on top of mobs and NPCs and animals. So if I was to kill that mob, I'd actually get the uh, I'd actually get that hat and I could wear it on my my cool little player we got here, my Minecraftian. But anyway, the reason was if we build by this massive tree, we're never going to get lost. It's like, oh, where's my house? Oh, the tree's there. Oh my, that is cool. You don't get that in normal Minecraft now, do you? No, you do not. So I'm just kind of blabbing on and running in circles here. And let's actually kind of put this wood to some use. Let's go find a nice little area. Have we got any... We got a bit of pork. Was there any... Was it pigs I saw over here? No, it's sheep. Goddamn sheep. I'm not killing a horse. Uh, Alright, we're going to have to keep an eye out for some animals. Because we don't have much food. But it's not a problem. And uh, we'll, we'll make do with the resources we've got available. So I'm liking the idea of like a little a little boathouse maybe or something. Uh, yeah, like a, a dock house. We'll, uh, 
we'll just build a square for now, the traditional square house, because my building, well, it, it isn't anything special, unfortunately. I'm just thinking about this one. I really do want to make a cool house, but I haven't had any awesome ideas yet. Um, Alright, let's walk around for a bit of inspiration, but we are really running out of time now. I keep thinking about building over on that island. Maybe it might be worth... Like over on that separate bit of land. We've got a ravine here, which is quite cool. Let's quickly sprint over here and see what we've got, guys. So, guys, after a lot of running around being chased by various monsters and some I don't even know what the hell they are but they're bloody scary I really need to sort some sort of house out and I really like this area here Jesus there's more of them they're coming out of everywhere man you know what? we could just build into the bottom of this you know what? let's quick go ahead do it let's go let's go let's go come on come on come on right we're in we're in Whoa. well that was a close one. I mean, I think I cut it a bit too fine on the kind of building house process, so we're kind of homeless at the moment. You know, we got our cool little tree place. In fact, we don't have any light in here though. If we get rid of the top bit, there we go. Look at that, lovely. I mean, alright, we can get stuff done in here, right? Yeah. It's all cool. It's all cool. Why is there like light coming through now? Squid? But anyway, let's chuck the crafting table down. Let's get ourselves a furnace on the way. Uh, ooh, redwood. Nice. If we use these logs, we can make some charcoal. Alright, so we've kind of adopted the centre of the tree for the time being. Which is cool with me. I mean, it's pretty cosy in here. But the all-time plan is just out there in between them two pink trees. It's quite a nice little area that I want to build in. But we're just going to stick in here for the night. Let's get some torches built. I also witnessed the uh, the volcano that like, exploded earlier. It, was, it wasn't like it earlier and I was running past next one. That was all lava spurting out of the top and now it's like completely flooded with lava. So yeah, pretty crazy. Alright, let's make a chest as well. In fact, no, we need more. Do we need more wood? No, we don't. Hopefully you can make it out like multi types of wood. No, you can't. Ah, oh, never mind. There we go. We've got a chest as well now. Might as well just let that finish up. <laughs> Look at our little tree house. It's quite cosy now, I think. If I build a door, which might be a clever plan, can we make a redwood door? No. Okay. Oh, hang on, we can make... Aha! We can! Yeah! Redwood door. Sick. Alright, it's proper tree housey now, isn't it? Alright, let's cook up some food as well. I need to put that chicken in a sec. If we go outside, let's deal with the mobs that we had left. Which, by the looks of it, is a lot. Ugh. Getting a bit too close for comfort, for sure. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Ah, oh, come on, I think, I think it's slight, slight. Whoa, no, 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 no. Come on. Ah. Are we safe? No, we still got you. We're starting to get a bit of light. And lag spikes. Lag spikes are never good. We're starting to get a bit of light, which is always... That actually looks quite cool. We could have, like... That would be awesome. Maybe we'll work on that as well. But over here, we're going to build a house too. Or well, I don't know. We could have a little tree house, guys. What do we think? I'll tell you what. For now, we'll go with the tree house. Um, and let me know in the comments if you think like the tree house is a good idea. Or if I'm actually completely destroying this tree and it's actually used for something. Then you should probably let me know. I'm going to make it a bit larger. But I still might build out on the coast anyway, so we can kind of have, like, we can use this for something, obviously. But then we'll also have our main house out out on the coast. I think we'll do that. I'm just going to mine this out make it a little bit nicer. Because, obviously, the only thing about using the treehouse, if we think about it, 
We don't have to get all our wire in and all our like automated systems in here. We're kind of limited to space. So as cool as it looks, man. I mean, it does look pretty damn awesome. I think we'll uh, we'll stick with just building a normal house. But just about, just about, like very just about, we survived our first night. Obviously, I was running around for a lot trying to find a place to put the house. And in the end, I kind of gave up. Yeah. But you know, it's all good. Alright, there we go. I'll leave that like that for now. It looks quite cool with a little door on the front. So as I said, we're probably going to build like here. I think this would be a cool place. Yeah, why not? I like it. I might go around a bit more. Bloody zombies everywhere. This one's got like a multi colour bloody hat on. Check you out. Alright, let's get some of this normal wood. So we're going to want... Uh, right, let's think this one through then. So this can kind of be the back layer. I'm not taking any notice of how wide I'm doing this at the moment. Oh, I've got... Wow, that's going to be awesome, man. We're going to have like a high bit up here. Mate, this is going to look awesome. How many wide is this? So we've got one, two, three... I can't count. Three, four... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we really want it. We don't want it uh, even, do we? We want it odd. Is that wide enough? Yeah, it's wicked. Man, this is going to be pretty cool when it's done. I've just thought of an amazing idea. I think it's. I think you guys are going to like it. Now, if anything, our bloody treehouse is in the way. In fact, though, we can connect it. Oh, man. That is going to be so freaking awesome. I'm so hyped now. I've got a cool idea, guys. So, we're going to have, like, this bit here. Like that. And what we're going to want, we're going to want some stairs for that, aren't we? Yeah. Uh, maybe come out one more. One more would be cool. There we go. Oh, that's awkward. Hmm. Very awkward. In fact, so I'd want to go a bit longer because it's actually quite short that size, isn't it? It's alright, not to worry. We can modify this. Let's cut away at some of this grass as well. Do a bit of turfing. There we go. That's made us a bit more space in it. Bring out to about here. Yeah, that'll do nicely. Bish bash boom. Have we got any more logs? No, we don't. Okay, that's not good. Not to worry though, I mean we've got some we've got some trees over here. Let's get the ones that are about out of the way. This one will do. You sir, I choose you. So really we did we fail our objective last night? Well no, I guess we did find shelter in the end. We we stayed in the in the tree. So yeah, we we survived just about, and uh, we did technically claim a shelter. I never said it was going to be permanent, did I? So yeah, objective complete. Wicked. Uh, I've got an awesome plan for the house, man. That's going to be so cool. So you guys will just have to stay tuned for that one. Ooh, we got a little mine over here as well. We can get our mining face on at some point. Um, I'm really excited about this, guys. It's going to be so awesome. Well, if you guys have got any tips and tricks, or you just want to leave a comment in general, be sure to do so. And uh, if you want to continue onwards on this adventure with me, I mean, we've got a hell of a journey to go, and this is just the beginning. So, guys, if you want to see more of Feed the Beast Direwolf 20 series, be sure to drop this video a like. And as I mentioned earlier, you got any tips, tricks, useful suggestions, or you just want to say hey, be sure to drop that below in the comment section. Thanks for watching, guys, and stay awesome. Peace out, guys.